Well, welcome to the next installment of Delta Hydrofoil's technical foiling series. Uh, today we're going to be discussing how to shim a hydrofoil in order to get even front foot pressure. Um, this has particularly come up as a problem with the Spots 3 foil that people uh, have front foot pressure and their foot straps are as far forward as they can go and they still have front foot pressure. Something about the way the Spots 3 is laid out uh, is a little different than the Spots 2 and it's causing a problem. So uh, basically on the Spots 3 the up force is further forward than it previously was and even with the foot straps all the way forward still too much force up front and uh, riding with front foot pressure is very very annoying the foil is always trying to push you out of the water so what can be done um, well you could put in new foot strap inserts further forward to get it balanced but that's a lot of work uh, so there's a simple way to fix this and that's to shim the joint where the fuselage comes in to the bottom of the strut on the spots three or any other foil that works the same way so how and why does that work? Okay, the wing and the stabilizer and the fuselage always need to ride at the same angle in the water at any given speed. So if we shim uh, under the trailing edge of the strut, it's going to give the fuselage an up angle like this, and I'm exaggerating this. And what's gonna need to happen is that the wing is gonna have to move back in order to get the same angle in the water. And as it moves back, the center of lift on the foil moves back as well. So now the foot straps are further forward with respect to the point of lift on the foil. Uh, it can work exactly the opposite way as well, that if we shim the foil to ride nose down, so we put a shim under the front of the strut, now what's going to have to happen is that this foil is going to level out this way and now this brings the point of lift forward. So that would be handy if you had the opposite situation as what's happening on the spots three. You can't get far enough back. So um, a lot of people get this confused. It's, it's a little bit hard to imagine. Um, people think that they can make some change by shimming at the tuttle box in the board, but that's not actually true. So say we have this all bolted together, this is fixed, the fuselage is at its angle that it needs to give you the lift at any given speed, and now you change this angle. What does it do? All it does is change the right angle of the board. It makes absolutely no difference in the position of the foot straps, and it makes no difference with regard to the center of lift. On the other hand, if we change the angle down here, you can clearly see that the center of lift either moves back or the center of lift moves forward with respect to the center of the foot strap position. So that's the theory behind how to, why it works. Um, so how would you actually do it if you had a spots three and you had too much front foot pressure and your straps were as far forward as you could go. Well, I don't have a spots three here in the shop, but I have uh, an older Delta, and I can show you how it would work. So this has a similar system to a spots three. We have a strut that sockets into a cavity in the fuselage. So if you have front foot pressure and you want to reduce it, what you need to do is you need to put some sort of shim on the back edge um, to get the fuselage to ride at an increased angle which is going to bring the force back. Um, so what I like to use is a piece of Bondo uh, squeegee that you can get at any hardware store and the nice thing about these is that they're a little thinner on one side and thicker on the other side so you can basically get whatever thickness of shim you want out of this and you can just cut it with scissors so now you have sort of a wedge, and now you can try different thicknesses. So I'm going to try one on the thin end, and you want to cut a piece that sort of matches the width of the bottom. Uh, the delta is tapered, so you've got to cut it pretty thin, 
Uh, but the Spox is square, so you should cut a square piece. In order to keep it uh, in place, you can just take a little bit of uh, tape. I have some packing tape here. So now you have a shim that's taped to the bottom of the strut. When you put this in, what this is going to do is basically it's going to have the fuselage at a greater angle of attack. So if we were to, you can see that it's nose up now as opposed to the way it was. And in order for this to ride at the right angle, because now the fuselage is nose up, the top of the strut comes forward, which means the foot straps come forward and you are going to have less front foot pressure. Um, on the spots, the box, or the, this is square, and the angle here is kind of tight. So when you shim it like this, you may actually have to, um, let's see, you're going to need to sand at the top leading edge and at the bottom trailing edge in order to get that, if it's very tight, in order to get it to actually fit in at the shimmed angle. And if one layer of this isn't enough, you can either use the thicker part of the squeegee or use two layers. And um, I think you guys are going to be very pleased with the results you get from this simple trick. It's something you can do in a few minutes. It doesn't cost any money. And you're going to be very relieved to have that front foot pressure gone and to have your foil trimmed out properly. All right. Well, that's it for this video. Uh, I look forward to teaching you guys more tricks that you can use on your foil to get more enjoyment out there on the water. Take care.